We are on a steep slope hazardous fuels mitigation project in Breckenridge. Fire is definitely a concern here. There's evidence of past fires all over around here. Charred wood is easily found. We're right at the basically the entrance to a neighborhood of over 450 homes. Lake Dillon is basically right downstream of us. Here on these steep slopes near the town of Breckenridge, we've been working with our partners at Colorado State Forest Service to test out some new logging equipment that has the ability to work on steep slopes. So this is a relatively new technology. It's called a Ponzi. What he does is he grabs a tree and then there's a bar saw in there, saws it, and it spits it back and forth and it de-limbs the tree and it processes it right there. This machine is long and that helps it distribute its weight when it's on a very steep slope. People often ask me why we're cutting down live trees as well as dead trees. You can see around here, these trees are really close together. They're unhealthy. Even though they're green and they're taller than we are, and we think of them as a healthy living forest, they're all pretty well at the end of their life cycle. They've been growing for about 100 years. By removing forest fuel, which is flammable vegetation, we're able to help improve the health of the forest as well as give homeowner occupants the opportunity to escape if there is indeed a wildfire. There has been a wake up call in Summit County regarding forest wildfire. So that concern wound up leading to the Strong Futures measure that was put before taxpayers on a ballot that was passed. And it does put about a million dollars of funding into wildfire prevention activities for the next 10 years. This project is paid for by Denver Waters Forest of Fawcett's fund, as well as leveraged funds from the Strong Futures vote that was approved by Summit County voters. Water moves from this project site to the Blue River and then to Dillon Reservoir, which is part of Denver Water's infrastructure and collection system. So there's a lot of risk associated with these steep slopes that if a fire were to occur, a large scale high intensity fire, it could cause post fire erosion and sediment that could end up in the reservoir or Denver Water's infrastructure that could be really costly so Colorado State Forest Service has worked with Denver Water and the Forest of Fawcett's II program for around the last two years, and Denver Water is providing funding for us to, to be able to get these treatments done that otherwise we probably wouldn't be able to do. So we've learned that collaboration is a key component to watershed management. Denver Water only owns about 2% of the land in its watershed, so we're relying on our partners to help us with this cross-boundary work and achieve forest restoration. To complete all the fuels mitigation work that needs to get done here in Summit County, it really does take shared stewardship, working with our nonprofit partners, our local governments, state level government, federal partners, as well as Denver Water, to execute and to implement uh, these community protection zones. And this project's so important because it's improving the health of the forest and therefore improving the health of the watershed and protecting our raw water supply. These forests are designed to burn. They're built to burn. They burn before and they're gonna burn again. It's just a matter of where it happens and when it happens, not if it happens. So we need to be as best prepared as we can when that does happen.